girl. Bare Minerals send me some PR. This is cute. What's she going? <laughs> girl. Okay, now wait a minute now. Okay. Isn't she an airbrush paint? Okay, girl. We about to get into this. Hi guys, Naturel Bombshell here and welcome to my channel. As you can tell by the title of the video, girl, isn't this a pain? Okay, isn't this a moment? So I am going to share some Bare Minerals products, some new and some that were also gifted uh, to me through PR in this video. Girl, we about to go through this look from start to finish. It is, this is probably really a full face of Bare Minerals. So if you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, hey girl, hey. Here I talk about fashion, beauty, hair, and my life as a plus size model, and whatever else you wanna kiki about. So if you're interested in any of those things, make sure you click the subscribe button and notification bell below. Also, follow me on my Instagram, where I share more content. As you can see, girl, Bare Minerals gifted me the new original Mineral Veil Press Setting Powder. Now this video is going to be a full tutorial of this face. So if you don't like long videos, girl, bear with me because we have a giveaway. Now I am going to be giving away the translucent color and also some of my favorite Bare Minerals products that I recently picked up. Um, from their friends and family sale. Now this video isn't sponsored, but like I said, they did give me um, these uh, pressed powders. So if you're interested or you want to enter in the giveaway, make sure you stay tuned um, to the end of this video. Now, let me just give, just give you a quick rundown of the new things that I'm trying and then we'll get into the tutorial. So, obviously, the pressed mineral powders. Now they sent me these in deep tan and translucent. Like I said, I'm gonna give away the translucent so you can get a feel for the formula and try it out, whoever is the giveaway win winner. This is um, the new shadow from the high Min Girl, why do I wanna say Hydralis? Probably because I recently had a hydrofacial. And stay tuned for that video too because, um, girl, I'm gonna show you how I take you with me as I get my first hydrofacial. But this is the Mineralist Color Palette in Heather. So this is kind of like the purple lavender color story. So this is new. I tried out. And I also tried out the new, girl, where is it? The new Original Liquid Concealer. So I'm using all of these new products and some of my tried and true old faithfuls in this tutorial. So. Thanks so much guys again for the support and always coming back and let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so I have my hair pulled back, girl. Don't judge my edges, okay? Um, so I'm going to start off with the eyes. This is the new um, Bare Minerals Mineralist uh, Eyeshadow Palette in Heather. Excuse me, I have a cough drop. My throat has been very dry, I guess, with allergies. And girl, you know nowadays you're scared to cough because it's time you do that thing you have. <laughs> so, excuse me. Purple undertones do complement brown skin and brown eyes really well, so I'm gonna go in with that. You know, Latte, girl, this is my bag. You can see she been done up from the sun up, okay? So uh, I'm gonna start in with this. I'm gonna take a transition color out of here. Now, one thing I can already tell, this seems to be a different formula than the Latte palette. I think that the Latte palette comes across as more um, buttery. Let's just go in and I am taking Solstice and Spirit, just kinda, but more of Solstice since I'm using it as a transition color. All right, so we have our base transition color. Now I'm gonna go in, which one do I wanna do? Hmm. 
now I'm gonna go in with Spirit more so in my crease. And y'all, I'm really not changing brushes because sometimes it be team too much. So now I am going to take Orchid 5. Let me just give a swatch here so you can see. But yeah, that's going to go on my lid. Oh, girl, she's a little plummy. She's pretty. Okay. Really nice color. And again, with metallic colors, I just like to swipe. This is how I feel. I get the best payoff. I just like to swipe them. Okay, come on, payout. Hmm. So next, I'm gonna go in with this color, plum. This is actually called plum. This is a you know very, like almost black purple. Um. So I'm just gonna go in in there with that. Let me get a smaller brush. Yeah. So. I do feel like I am getting a little bit more fallout from these shadows than I do from the latte. Not a lot, but I just noticed that they're not as buttery, I feel, as the um, the latte ones. So now I'm just going in the, to the uh, outer corner, like out of V, with uh, on my eye with plum. Okay, so we pretty much have the base. And now I am going to take this thistle and just kind of put it in my um, inner corner or inner one thirds of my eye. So this is thistle. And again, I'll just use my finger. And this will just kind of brighten up the look a bit. and just brighten up my inner corner. Now again, I know I have some smudginess under my eye, but concealer and foundation is gonna clean it up, so I'm not too much worried about that. Next, so we have our eyes pretty much done based on what how I like to do my eye. So now I'm going to go in and prime my um, skin for foundation now I always like to take the Becker ever matte because to go in my t-zone now I've already prepped my skin with proper skin care you know I always stress prepping skin with proper skin care so I'm using the bare minerals original liquid foundation I'm gonna shake flew across the room girl stand by uh, this wor <laughs> workplace hazards okay now, personally, I love the Bare Pro liquid. And I love the Loose Matte. Not the Loose Original, the Loose Matte. But, because I'm using a setting powder today, I can really tell if it works because this is a luminous foundation. Um, when I wear Bare Pro, since it sets to a matte, I really don't set that foundation. But since this has a radiant finish, I do set this one. And I'm in the color Warm Dark. I like this foundation. Um, you know, my primary preference isn't a radiant foundation, but this is a nice looking foundation. Sometimes, you know, if you really want a healthy skin look, a radiant foundation is nice. And I think this one is nice. And I just like to dot this on my face. And blend it out. Okay, 
So this is pretty much all the coverage that I like. I actually like a kind of um, medium coverage, but as you can see, this is a radiant foundation. I My preference isn't a radiant foundation, but again, since I am testing a setting powder, uh, that's why I chose this foundation. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with concealer. This is the new Bare Minerals Original Liquid Mineral Concealer. Now this is in the color 5N. I actually feel like this is almost the color of the foundation. And it actually is. So I'm gonna have to take some girl. She's gonna be a radiant girl today, honey. <laughs> um, Cause this is pretty much the color of the foundation. So I guess it'll just give me a little bit more coverage under my eye, but I really don't need under eye coverage because I don't have dark circles under my eyes. But girl, I mean, it's a paint, so. Can you see it? Let me try and turn this light down. She's a radiant girl, honey. <laughs> okay, now wait a minute. <laughs> For someone who has dry skin, I think this would be your Jewish. So let me highlight, I'm gonna take the Bare Minerals Bare Skin. Now, I really do like this concealer. Um, I remember when I was using Tarte Shape Tape, it was too dry under my eyes, so I will use this one. And um, it did not, it almost counteracted or counterbalanced, I guess, whatever the word is, the Tarte Shape Tape. Cause Tarte Shape Tape would be so dry under my eyes where I would get dry patches under my eyes. Um, but when I would mix it with this, I would not get it, but I just need a little bit more, um, like, girl, I've never had this much product under my eye before, but, you know. Girl, I can't lie, it looks very dewy, but nice. So I'm gonna set my under eyes with Laura Mercier powder, just because the concealers I used weren't as a, you know, golden, so I'm using Laura Mercier powder in honey. To, so I'm just gonna use this to set under my eyes and I'm gonna use the new Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil to set my whole face. So now for the Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil powders. Now, they used to have a powder that I love. Now, to be honest, I wasn't really a fan of the loose mineral veil because it ran too cool pink for me in original and I can even uh, show you and I'll probably insert a close-up of what I'm talking about as well um, I don't know if you can see it but I'll insert a picture now this is the bare skin um, finishing powder now I love this powder I love the undertone and everything now with the new ones um, this is, they sent me three colors, translucent, tan, and deep. So this is tan, and this is deep, and this is dark, deep, and bare skin, and this is deep in the new press mineral veil. And if you can see, I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but I can already tell the new ones. If you can see, it's it's cool. And this is the new Mineral Veil. This is the bare skin one. So I love the undertone of this one. This undertone is a little too cool, I can tell. So, but this is also too dark probably for me to use as my finishing powder. So I'm going with the tan. And even if you can see, I don't know if you can see in tan. Again, it's lighter. Girl, I don't know if I can use this one. I probably have to use a dark one. Um, the deep one. Um, 
this is a little bit lighter than this one but it is still coming off as a cool undertone and that was my initial gripe with mineral veil anyway like it was cool and i am warm and so you know bare minerals if you're watching this that's some feedback like a lot of women with deeper complexions like mine especially kind of like that warm brown kind of caramel color we tend to have golden undertones not cooler ones so i think bear pro does a good job at their undertones again this bare skin one is a great one and um yeah so i'm actually going to mix the two because i think deep might be a little bit too deep and tan might be a little bit too tan for me should i do deep girl i'll just do deep and this is the supreme finishing brush so i'm just gonna get some of this And let me see if this is going to be light or dark rather. Yes, I don't know if you can see that, but that's, that's too dark for me. But it has toned down the radiance in here. So I'm just going to put this, girl, really as a bronzer because it's a little too dark. Oh, you can see it's added a little color, which is nice. And it definitely has mattified and toned down this radiant foundation. So let me just go in with the tan now on the other side and see how that works out. Yeah, actually, um, sheer tan will be more my color if I want to just set all over. Okay. So on this side, I said with the deep, it did add a little bit of color. So if you are darker than me, um, I'm sorry, if you're my color or darker, definitely if you're darker you may want to go with the deep if you're my color or maybe just like the shade darker or shade or two lighter i would say go with the tan so i am just going to take the deep again on this side and just kind of bronze with it because it does add like a tad bit of color but not much My face is pretty much done. I'm going to go in with the Bare Minerals Blush. And girl, you already know it's Peachy King. So my camera cut off. So I went in with the blush Peachy King. And this is the Highlighter Fierce. I don't think Bare Minerals has a brown lippy pencil that's complimentary towards my skin tone now i don't wear a lot of mac products but i do think their lip pencils cork and chestnut are very flattering on skin tones so i'm going to go in with the color cork so i'm going to go in with mineralist the mineralist lip gloss in the color love or lip balm i think this is and this is already kind of like a plummy or a purple yeah kind of color so this should complement this look it's nice pretty glossy natural lips so now i'm going to finish off my eyes with liner and lashes and then I'll come back and give you my final thoughts 
Okay guys, so I'm back. Now this is the finished face, girl. Look, hair, it's a zhuzh, okay? It is a moment. Now let me go through some of these things. So actually, um, I end up putting a lipstick on just to bring a little bit more, um, not really color to my lips, but I wanted to actually put like a pale color. And this is the Bare Minerals Radiant Lipstick in the color Honey Bun. It's just kind of like a true, like neutral nude uh, tan brown, which I really love. Um, this formula, I like the formula, but I don't think that it is better than this formula with the, the Gen Nude palette. Um, and I even have a Christmas palette like this, and it seems that that formula is a little bit closer to this one. Now, to me, it's not as buttery as the Gen New palette, but had really good payoff as you can see. In regards to this one, um, I wish they would have had a mirror on this one uh, like they did on the Gen New palette. Obviously, I don't want to blind you, but this does have a, subs let me just kind of point it down. It does have a substantial size mirror on it. So that's the only thing I would say. I think this formula is better and it has a mirror. This is a good formula, good payoff, but this is better to me. For the, what else did I use? Oh, the concealer. I do like this conceal concealer. It went on smooth under my eyes. Um, there's really no creasing, but I really don't have a issue too much with creasing under my eyes anyway, because I pretty much have a smooth under eye. Girl, skincare, okay? That's another thing my dermatologist told me. She says I have very smooth under eyes. Girl, I'm telling you, we over here on this channel, Asian, like wine, not like milk. Sis, this makeup is cute, but girl, skincare uh, is another level, okay? And um, so yeah, but I really like this. This is the bare skin formula, so it seems like they they may be phasing out the bare skin. Girl, I'm just dropping everything. It seems like they're phasing out the bare skin line and bringing in the kind of like pressed and liquid uh, original line. Let me see. Are the formulas comparable? So I don't know if you can really tell on camera, but I actually think the bare skin formula is a little bit more moussey than the original and to me the original you know it's just kind of it's still emollient but not as moussey which is not a bad thing i mean they still apply well work well under my under eye so that is a yes for me now as for the original the new original mineral veil pressed powders i do really like this formula like, as you can tell, the original liquid foundation was very radiant on me. Lightweight looking like a glow worm because I have a just kind of a normal, I used to be normal to oily, but it almost feel like I'm normal to dry now. Um, but, or maybe my skin is just, you know, has been dehydrated. But I will say that it definitely toned down the radiance in the liquid original formula and it made girl okay she painted can't even lie about it um so i think that i really do like this formula i only thing i wish is that they would have run a little bit more golden especially in the tan or maybe a color in between this after tan because i know a lot of times with bare mineral they go from tan dark to deep so um in this particular instance they went from tan to deep so i wish they would have put maybe a color in between here that was dark with a golden undertone and i think that would have completed that kind of color story for me but i do love the formula i think that again if you are my color um and i'll have some of my shade references from other products below if you are my color uh you actually can do the tan um because the deep was a little too dark for me and a little bit too cool so i just kind of use that around my perimeter as you saw but i really like this formula i'm going to keep this on my face to see how you know how long i stay mattified for lack of a better word and to be honest i really don't expect to stay real mattified because this is not a matte foundation but just to 
to see like when I would need to actually touch up. Cause right now, girl, I'm not gonna lie. It is looking airbrushed. It, is, it, it really is. It's looking airbrushed. Like, um, it's not, ain't girl, you know, I hate cleaning it when people say cleaning the dry patches, but it's, I'll just say it's not clinging to anything on my skin. Um, it really has blurred my pores, uh, or I would say blurred cause I have small, girl, I have small pores again, skincare. Um, it, it really to me has provided like a blurring effect on me and yeah even right here sometimes in between my forehead i don't know for whatever reason i have like a little texture right here but it hasn't emphasized that the one thing i can always commend bare minerals on is that you ain't gonna feel it on your face like i have on a full face of makeup which i like a full face and what i mean by full face is that i like brows lashes highlight contour um, you know, foundation, lipstick, lip gloss, liner, like I like a full face, but I don't like necessarily <clears throat> full coverage or heavy makeup, but I like, you know, all parts of my makeup finished in girl, this is cute. So now let's talk about the giveaway. Now this giveaway is going to be opened up to U.S. recipients only. Girl, you know we coming out of a whole panorama. So if you outside of the U.S., it probably will take you 7.5 months to get the um, package. So we're gonna keep this particular giveaway open up to U.S. residents only. Make sure you, to enter, make sure you click that subscribe button and notification bell and like button. Also, comment below and let me know your favorite Clean Beauty Holy Grail product or what other videos you would like to see from me in the future. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Natural Bombshell. And then the winner will be announced on July 12th. So that gives you time to enter, share with a friend. And also in your comment, include your IG handle so that if you are the winner, I can send you a message and contact you and get your contact information. Well, thank you so much, Bombshells, for watching. Um, again, thanks for the support. Stay safe, go forth, and prosper.